I'm in the citadel of Erbil, Iraq. This citadel has history spanning more than 5,000 years. This uh, rich history of uh, this particular place goes back to the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Greeks, the Romans, all the way up through the Ottomans and of course now this large Kurdish area. This particular citadel is, has deep connections with Bible history. You think about all these different empires, the, the wars that were fought and all of the things that were done. This place is one of the longest civilized places in the world. And uh, I'd like to show you just a little bit of the pieces of this place. As I'm here in the Erbil Citadel, I'm reminded of all those important biblical uh, time periods, very significant throughout the Bible. The Babylonians, the Assyrians, the Persians, which are more centered in Iran, but also have this territory, and uh, even the Greeks and the Romans. Not to forget, though, the Kurds, the Medes of the Medo-Persian Medo Empire, uh, their descendants are the Kurds, which are here in this area today. So the, the Kurds see a direct connection with the, the Medo-Persian Empire. It's interesting that all of the biblical prophets from the Old Testament, they all referred really to somehow this territory as Israel was diminishing in its importance, it was not following the Lord. There was these confrontations with Babylon and Assyria, um, and then Daniel serving and the Babylon and then the Medo-Persian Empire. All of these stories are somehow right around us in this part of the world. If you look at the essence of those prophecies, those prophets, there was some main concerns of them. One is that people should follow God and that really the prophets were confronting um, God's people that they should repent, turn, turn towards Him and follow Him. Second is that they should not have false gods in their lives. And the third, they should be fair, kind and just to other people. Social welfare was extremely important to God and these prophets. I think we can take that advice seriously for ourselves. We can be humble and repentant. We can get rid of all the false gods out of our lives and we can look at others and be kind, generous and just so that we can be God's representatives in this world. Would you join me in this? Be God's representative today.